Vaughn Doyle. Seven starters for the 10th race. Here they come. There, off and from the rail, Sammy Motoring quickly grabs the top. LF Dorothy to second. Kristen's Curly is quick to tuck in the third, and they drive into the first turn. Noble Ideal has a fourth. Uh, Audrey's Albert fifth. Then Winter Lad and the trailer Dynamite Treasure one through seven. That's the way they stand around the turn. Heading to the quarter, Sammy Motoring shows the way. On top by a length and a half. LF Dorothy gets away second. Kristen's Curly has third. Noble Ideal fourth. There your first four is a race single file by the opening quarter. Sammy Motoring is there, 30 and four-fifths. LF Dorothy and Kristen's Curly pacing third. Noble Ideal has fourth. Audrey's Albert outside fifth. Winter Lad in the trailer, but moving on the outside comes Dynamite Treasure, and they work around the turn past the three-eighths pole. Sammy Motoring leads the pack around that turn, and here they come. Through the stretch for the half, it's Sammy Motoring on top. LF Dorothy and Kristen's Curly pacing third. Noble Ideal has fourth. Audrey's Albert fifth on the outside. And then Winter Lad, the trailer, is Dynamite Treasure, the half and 103. Into the turn for the second time. Sammy Motoring continues to lead. On top, still a length and a quarter. LF Dorothy sitting pretty and Kristen's Curly third. Outside now to fourth. Comes Audrey's Albert and they're by the five eights. Racing up the back stretch for the three quarters. Sammy Motoring and LF Dorothy stays close. Kristen's Curly now Audrey's Albert drives up to third. Kristen's Curly racing fourth. Dynamite Treasure, Noble Ideal and Winter Lad. The three quarters. It's still Sammy Motoring. He has led the way in 134. They drive to the turn in the 7 8 at Sammy Motoring. Audrey's Albert now second. LF Dorothy racing third. Kristen's Curly. Dynamite Treasure, Winter Lad, and Noble Ideal around the turn. Sammy Motoring the one to catch through the stretch, and here they come for home. Sammy Motoring and on the inside. Kristen's Curly making up ground quickly. LF Dorothy is on the outside, and here they are. Tight at the line between Kristen's Curly and LF Dorothy, then Sammy Motoring. Noble Ideal, Audrey's Albert, Dynamite Treasure, Winter Lad. Time for the mile, 2.05. Now the starters for the seventh race in behind the gate. Gate is moving. We're approaching the top of the stretch, field of eight. There's Brett Handover with John Davidson, Big C Westfall, Lottie Stokes, Ari's Joey with Sean Shannon, Springin' Sue Down and Leroy Vincent, Rasputin Stream with Doug Falkins, Jimmy and Steve Mahar, Gentleman Jeff with Rocky Skierman, and Bruce Chef and Von Doyle. Here they come. Clear off swing and suit down, takes him out of there. Then Rasputin Stream racing second. Bruce Sheff on the far outside, drives on third, is going on to second now, and uh, goes winging for the lead. Swing and suit down has it. Bruce Sheff on the outside, challenging second, gets to the front now. He's the leader by ahead. And going on as they race up the back stretch for the quarter, Bruce Sheff swing and suit out a second. Rasputin Stream has the third in the coast. Swing and suit out, up from second. She's back on top again. She takes them by the opening quarter, 30 and four-fifths. Top turn, swing and suit out, and Bruce Sheff. Rasputin stream, red hand over, up on the outside. Drives on the fourth. They come to the three-eighths pole, the leader there. Is swing and suit down by a length. Off the turn now through the stretch. Here they come, racing to the half, swinging On through top, the Riverside Marcy of Township boots a second. They're off, LF Darby. The, the field in one, the three quarters, On opening quarter, Big drive into the turn. Fourth. That is Rasputin Stream, Ari's Joy. Then gentlemen, Jeff, and the trailer is Jimmy. We could need a picture between LF Dorothy and turn, Lance's Lady, the then Township Jordan, and Double and Jeopardy, the the No Cara, Fortune's Harvest Bar Harbor, Omaha outside, Gambler, time for the mile, 2.04. Face in a photo, the winner is number three, Lance. Oh, Bring up on two. Riverside, Marcy, but two. Down Susie Poos for the time for that mile. They head on for the time for that. As third, racing in fourth. 
singing six in Charlie again. Price. Red but here they come, Dix, and they sprawl on Todd Byrne. Two more set. Jimmy springs out three wide. Is coming closer. On the Splur. Out the head of the lane, they come down to go. Here and a swing they. And down with Red Hand over challenging a second. Swing and Sue down on the inside. Red Hand over Big C Westfall. Jimmy coming on. Gentleman Jeff is coming on. But it's going to be Swing and Sue down to win this. She does. Swing and Sue down. Jimmy, Gentleman Jeff, tight for fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh. And then Bruce Jeff, time for the mile, 208. Now the starters for the 12th race at the gate. Gate is moving. We have a field of eight. There's Springbrook Chip with John Davidson, Susie Pusey, Joe Barrio, Jimmy and Steve Mahar, Brenda Skipper, Elmore White, Flying Horace, Lonnie Stokes, Sonny Isle with Brian Moore, Larry Fifi and Toby McDonald, Nellie Banks with Leroy Vincent. Here they come. There, a flying horse, quick off the gate. He takes him out of there. Susie Poozie's in the inside, racing second. Up on the outside, Sunny Isle drives on third. Brenda Skipper racing a fourth. Springbrook Chip is racing fifth, and it's Nellie Banks, Jimmy. And uh, the trailer, Larry Fifi, up the back stretch on to the quarter, and flying horse cuts it out, leads a length and a half. Susie Poozie racing second. Sonny Isle has gone to the rail, is racing third. Brenda Skipper's rolled off stride, scattering the trailers. But everybody's back pacing by the opening quarter, 32 and 3. Top turn. Flying Horace, a length and a half, and Susie Poozie. Sonny Isle is third. Now Springbrook Chip rushing up on the outside. Moves to fourth, is rushing on. And then Nellie Banks now fifth. Brenda Skipper off stride again as they swing off the top turn. On through the stretch, they come driving to the half. Coming to the half, it is Flying Horace by a two. Susie Poozy sitting pretty. She's racing second. Springbrook Chip is at third. Nellie Banks fourth. They were by the half and six and two. Then we go to Jimmy, Sunny Isle, Larry Fifi, and Brenda Skipper. And around the turn they go, racing to the five-eighths. Flying Horace is moving out now. He's on top by two and a half, and Susie Poozie, Springbrook, Chip, Nelly Banks, rushing from fourth. Jimmy's gone to fifth. Then it's Larry Fifi, Sunny Isle, Brenda Skipper, and it's on to the three quarters. And it's Flying Horace for two and a half, and he's the leader by the three quarter pull, 139. Top turn, Flying Horace, Susie Poozie, Nelly Banks. Jimmy's racing fourth, Larry Fifi now fifth. Then Springbrook Chip, Brenda Skipper, Sunny Isle, up the seven eighths. They're making the turn for home, and it is still flying horror. Susie Poozy driving a second. Nellie Banks and Jimmy flying horse on the inside. Susie Poozy. Jimmy's coming up on the outside, closing in on the leader. It's going to be tight at the line, and it is Jimmy and Steve Mahar. Triple for him. Then flying horse tight between Susie Poozy, Nellie Banks. Then Larry Fifi, Brenda Skipper, Springbrook, Chip, and Sunny Isle. Time for the mile to 11 and 4. And parading now, the winner of the 12th race, it's number 3, Jimmy, a brave piecing horse. He's 5. By Practical Joker from, er, from Mormack Bly. She by John the Third. Owned by Brent Briggs of Fredericton. Trained and driven by Steve Mahar for Jimmy. His first winning trip this season, 2-11-4 for Steve Mahar, a driving triple this afternoon. Red Shade Strutters. There's Jim Dexter with Brennan Cochran, Springbrook Chip, John Davidson, Flying Horace, Lonnie Stokes, Book a Table, Brian Moore, Jimmy and Steve Mahar, Ari's Joey, Charlie Miles, Swing and Sue Don, Leroy Vincent, Julie Drummond, Danny McDonald, here they come. They're off and flying horse. Grabs the top and from the far outside. That's Julie Drummond winging for it. She's on to second, winging for the top. Head of the turn, Julie Drummond takes the lead on the outside. Flying horse racing a second. Springbrook Chip is at third. Book of Tables racing at fourth. They're up the backstretch, not driving to the quarter. 
at pacing with the lead, Julie Drummond flying horse, second Springbrook chip, then book at table, swinging Sue down, goes up from the outside, racing on the fourth and going on, and the leader, Julie Drummond, by the quarter, 32 and three. Out of the top turn, Julie Drummond, swinging Sue down, Park gets to second now, flying horse, racing third, Springbrook chip is a fourth, Jimmy comes up fifth on the outside, then book a table. Harvey's Joey, Jim Dexter trails. They're off the top turn and through the stretch. Here they come, racing to the half, facing atop Julie Drummond. Swinging Sue down at her wheel, then flying Horace, racing third. Jimmy comes to fourth now. Then a Springbrook chip, book a table. Harvey's Joey, Jim Dexter, they were five and a half and six and two. Head of the turn, four in and four out at pacing it on top. It is Julie Drummond. She's the leader and she's well in hand. Swinging Sue down. On the outside second. Moving up on the inside goes. Springbrook chip on to third. Then racing in between a Jimmy on the extreme outside. Racing on strong. Jimmy drives to a second. But it's still Julie Drummond with the lead and Jimmy a second now. Springbrook chip racing a third. Three quarters, 140. Top turn, Julie Drummond, Jimmy at her wheel a second, Springbrook chip racing a third, flying horse now fourth, R.E.'s Joey, Jim Dexter book a table, swinging Sue down, heading home, it is Julie Drummond, Jimmy charging up second, on the outside, R.E.'s Joey coming on flying horse on the inside, but Julie Drummond holds to win this one, Julie Drummond, Jimmy, Tied for second, third, fourth, and fifth, and then book a table. Swing on the Sioux down. Tie for the mile, 213. Top of the stretch, we have seven starters. On the rail, Markham's Tech with Doug Falkins, then Sonny Mack and Steve Mahar. LF Dorothy Brian Moore, Grand McKay Gordon Hennessy, Miss Tahoe, Tony Watson. Savvy's advantage with Bernie Charlton in the Bar Harbor. Tim Mercetti, here they come. Where off and rushing to the top it is Grand McKay and on the inside. Al F. Dorothy fighting for it. They're neck and neck into the turn. On the outside, Grand McKay up along the rail. Al F. Dorothy. Savvy's advantage racing a third. Markham's Tech is fourth and Miss Tahoe. They're on up the back stretch now racing to the quarter. And up front with the lead, Grand McKay with LF Dorothy second. Savvy's advantage racing third. Markham's Tech is fourth. Then Miss Tahoe, Bar Harbor. And Sunny Mac trails the field. They're by the opening quarter, 31 and 2. Into the top turn. It is Grand McKay, a length and a half, LF Dorothy. Sitting pretty second at the rail. Savvy's advantage is third. Then we go to Markham's Tech, Miss Tahoe, Bar Harbor, and uh, Sunny Mac, and they're swinging off the top turn now. Here they come through the stretch onto the half. It is Grand McKay with LF Dorothy in the pocket. Then uh, Savvy's advantage. Here comes Bar Harbor rushing on to fourth as they go racing out by the half and 104. Into the turn now they drive to the five eighths. Up front, cutting it out, it is Grand McKay. Leading the two, LF Dorothy, Bar Harbor. Now third on the outside, Savvy's advantage fourth at the rail. Then it's Markham's Tech, Sonny Mack outside. Miss Tahoe trailing, their nose to nose for the top, but now LF Dorothy grabs the top, she's the leader. And Grand McKay racing a second as they go battling by the three-quarter pole, 134, Grand McKay again. Back up along the inside. LF Dorothy on the outside. They're still at it nose to nose. And Bar Harbor's right there with the leaders. He's tipping wide. Racing on third. Savvy's advantage is fourth. And they're heading for home still. Battling nose to nose for the top. On the outside, LF Dorothy. On the inside, Grand McKay. They're still at it nose to nose as they come to the wire together. But up the line, it looks like Grand McKay, LF Dorothy, Bar Harbor, Savvy's advantage. Miss Tahoe, or Markham's Tech, Miss Tahoe, and Sonny Mac. Time for the mile, 2.05. Starters for the seventh race are at the gate. Gate is moving. 
All set now for race seven, a field of eight. Starters approaching the top of the stretch. On the rail, Dusty Lane Lynn, Rick Armstrong, Paris Hustler, Rod Gogan, Ren Rag Jean, Jill Berrio, Dusty Davy, John Davidson, Hillview Joe with Ron Robertson, Portrait of Janice, Steve Mahar, Second Quest with Doug Falcons. From the outside, that's Sporty Yankee and Doug Queen, a field of eight. Here they come. They're off in a good start. Dusty Lane Lynn goes for, grabs the early lead. Way up on the outside, that's second quest in between horses. Dusty Davy into the first turn. Dusty Lane Lynn moves out by a length and a half. Up on the outside, second quest gets to second. She'll look for the hole. Dusty Davy is third. Then it's back to Paris Hustler in fourth. On the outside, Portrait of Janice is moving early. Now to fourth, and it's Ren Rag Jean. Sporty Yankee and trailing is Hillview Joe. On to the opening quarter now, and that's Dusty Lane Lynn, a length and a half. By the opening quarter, 31 and 2. On the outside, Portrait of Janice Park, second. Sitting pretty third on the rail, that's second quest. Then back about four lengths to Dusty Davy in fourth. Then it's Paris Hustler, another couple of lengths back. Then it's Ren Rag Jean, Sporty Yankee, and Hillview Joe. Off the top turn now through the stretch, here they come. They're racing to the half up front, Dusty Lane Lynn. On the outside, Portrait of Janice, she's been parked. She hangs second, second quest is third. Then it's on the outside now moving Dusty Davy by the half, 101 and 2. They make their way to the 3 eighths up front, Dusty Lane Lynn. On the outside, Portrait of Janice Park, second, second quest looks good, third. Dusty Davy looks to tip wide, she's fourth. Then on the outside, Ren Rag Jean, Paris Hustler, Sporty Yankee, and back to Hillview Joe. On to the three quarters now, three wide. That's Dusty Davy, Dusty Lane Lynn on the inside, holding though. Dusty Davy Park, second on the fading third now, that is Portrait of Janice. Second quest, three quarters, one thirty-two. They make their way past the three-quarter pole to the seven-eighths. Dusty Lane Lynn on the inside. Dusty Davy on the outside. Second quest is there, too. She is third. Then it's back spent. Portrait of Janice, fourth. Sporty Yankee, fifth. Off the seven-eighths now. They swing for home and on the outside. That's Dusty Davy moving to the top. Dusty Davy, Dusty Lane Lynn is second. It's going to be Dusty Davy. Then Dusty Lane Lynn. Second quest, Portrait of Janice, Sporty Yankee, Ren Rag Jean, Hillview Joe, and Paris Hustler. Time for the mile, 204. The winner of race number seven is number four, Dusty Davy. Dusty Davy is a brown gelding five years by Ernie Burner out of Glencoe Annette, she by Glencoe Skipper. Owned by Brent Briggs of Fredericton, trained by Lynn Cameron, John Davidson driving. Dusty Davy gets his first winning trip from his second start of 1997, winning this afternoon in 204. Your unofficial winner at the wire, number four, Dusty Davey with John Davidson. And the gate is moving. Underway with our fifth race this afternoon, eight starters behind the gate. Jimmy with Steve Mahar, Fame's Fashion, Lonnie Stokes, Tornad DeMar and Brian Moore, J.L. Cook and Tim Rossetti, Bellman's Dream, Jill Berrio, Big Z Westfall with Gordy Hennessy, Nellie Banks, Charlie Price, and Bounding Bass, Jeff Lewis. Here they come. They're off and leaving the line. Tornad DeMar and Fames Fashion racing for the top. Fames Fashion will get there. Tornad DeMar looks for the hole and finds it in second. Bellman's Dream gets away third as a Race into that first turn. Big Z Westfall fourth, and they race by the eighth pole. J.L. Cook works to fifth. Then it's Jimmy, followed by Bounding Bass. The trailer is Nellie Banks as they race up the backstretch for the opening quarter. Fame's Fashion on top, setting the fractions. Tornad DeMar second, Bellman's Dream third. They're your first three. Opening quarter, 31 seconds, and they race to the far turn and the three-eighths pole, and cutting it out, it's Fame's Fashion. Tornad DeMar, and racing third is Bellman's Dream. Big Z Westfall has fourth. J.L. Cook fifth. Jimmy races sixth, and they drive around the turn. All by it. Okay, as the 3 eighths goes behind, and they race for the half. It's Fame's fashion now. Tornad DeMar has moved off the rail to challenge from second. 
So has Bellman's Dream. Moving from third is Tornad Demar. Grabs the top, the half and two and two. Fame's Fashion. Now on the outside, Bellman's Dream comes to second. Fame's Fashion has third. Racing into the turn. Big Z Westfall fourth. Then it's J.L. Cook, Jimmy, bounding Basque and Nellie Banks, and they race by the five-eighths up the backstretch. For the three-quarters, Bellman's Dream racing for the top. Tornad Demar on the inside, doing battle now second. Fames Fashion racing third. Big Z Westfall moves off the rail from fourth. They're battling by the three-quarters. 133 on the inside. Tornad Demar, Bellman's Dream on the outside. Now shows on top. Tornad Demar second. Big Z Westfall third. J.L. Cook has fourth now on the outside. Then it's Fames Fashion. Jimmy is fifth and they round the turn. Racing for home. Bellman's Dream. Tornad Demar back up on the inside again. J.L. Cook and Big Z Westfall are there. So is Jimmy. But it's going to be Tornad Demar holding. Moving up the inside is Jimmy. And here they are. Tornad Demar, Jimmy. Then it looks like Big Z Westfall. J.L. Cook. Bellman's Dream. Nellie Banks. Bounding Basque. Fames Fashion. Time of the mile, 205 and 1. And the starters for the fifth race in behind the gate. Gate is moving. Approaching the top of the stretch, Miss TK Smoothie, Brian Moore. Abe's Prince, Jill Barrio. Miss Taho, John Davidson, Dusty Davy, Steve Mahar. Stunning Scooter, Lonnie Stokes. West Pointer, Roy Dickinson. Let's go home, Tim Mercetti and Cocan Robin. Jerry Gallant, here they come. There, off and Dusty Davy takes him out of there. TK Smoothies off stride. Head of the turn, pacing on top, Dusty Davy down Miss Taho, working up on the inside, and she's on the run. It is now Dusty Davy, Miss Taho back pacing, then Stunning Scooter racing a third, West Porter is fourth, Go Can Robin, as they race out up the backstretch for the quarter. At pacing on top, Dusty Davy, he leads for two, Miss Taho is second, Stunning Scooter racing third, they're by the quarter. In the 31 the seconds. Coquen Robin fourth. West Porter is the fifth. Then Abe's Prince up on the outside. Let's go Holmes in along the rail and far back. TK Smoothie. They swing around the top turn. And uh, tipping off the turn now through the stretch. Here they come to the half and Dusty Davy shows the way. Here comes Stunning Scooter. Out from third. Up to second now challenging for the top. As they come to the half, it is Dusty Davy Stunning Scooter challenging Miss Taho third. By that half at 104, the red of the turn. On to the 5 eighths they go. It's Dusty Davy Stunning Scooter back at the rail. Then Miss Taho, Abe's Prince up on the outside, rushing on from fourth. Goes on, he's now third. Then let's go home and uh, Coquen Robin West Pointer, T.K. Smoley. On to the three-quarter pole. Dusty Davy holds that lead. Three parts of a length. On the outside, Stunning Scooter challenging a second. 135 and one by the three-quarters. Top turn, Dusty Davy. Stunning Scooter, Miss Taho is off stride again at the rail. Then moving up on the inlets on the outside, it is Abe's Prince. They come swinging for home, and it's Dusty Davy off by himself now. Dusty Davy, Stunning Scooter, Abe's Prince driving third, Miss Taho again fourth, but it's going to be Dusty Davy. He wins it by four. Stunning Scooter, Abe's Prince, Miss Taho, West Pointer, Cocan Robin, Let's Go Home, and TK Smoothie. Time for the mile, 206 and 1.
Now the starters for the 10th race at the gate. Gate is moving. And approaching the top of the stretch for the field of seven, we have Strike Colonel with Rick Armstrong. Stargaze time, Steve Mahar. Coke Capelli with Doug Beckwith. Markham's Tech and Doug Falcons. L.F. Dorothy with Brian Moore. Akadoo with Jill Berrio and Touch of Blue with Charlie Ross. Here they come. There, off Coke Capelli takes him out of there. Strike Colonel is out the rail and racing a second. Then Stargaze time goes up to a third. Touch of Blue outside racing a fourth. Then we go to Well Left Door, the Akadoo. Markham's Tech Trails. They're by the eighth pole. It's on up the back stretch, racing to the quarter, and Coke Capelli cuts it out. He's on top of two. Then Strike Colonel is second. Stargaze time his third. Touch of Blue is fourth. They are by the opening quarter in 30 and four fifths, and Coke Capelli takes him into the top turn, leading the two. Then Strike Colonel is the second. Stargaze time. Touch of Blue. L.F. Dorothy starts to move. Then Nakadu and trailing is Markham's Tech, and they're swinging off the top turn now through the stretch. Here they come, they're racing to the half, and it's Coco Pelli showing the way. Strike Colonel racing a second. Stargaze time has a third. LF Dorothy out moves fourth. They were by the half, 103 and 1 on the rear of the turn, now driving to the 5 8 Coco Pelli's on top and out to challenge Strike Colonel. Lapped on the leader now as they go racing by the 5 8 Coco Pelli. Strike Colonel, now the leader on the outside, and there goes LF Dorothy on to third. Stargaze time is fourth to the three-quarter pole. It is Strike Colonel. Then LF Dorothy, Coco Pelli, Stargaze time. I could do touch of blue, 34 and one by the three-quarter pole. Top turn, Strike Colonel. Now F. Dorothy racing a second. Stargaze time third. I could do coming on to fourth. They're by the seven eights and they're swinging for home. Pacing with the lead. Strike Colonel. LF Dorothy coming to him. So is Stargaze time. So is Akadu. It is going to be tight at the line. Strike Colonel. And it is Strike Colonel. LF Dorothy. Looks like Akadu in Stargaze time. Coca Pelli, Dutch of Blue, Markham's Tech. Time for the mile. Two, six, and four. They're moving in behind the gate. Gate is moving, and we're approaching the top of the stretch with seven starters. Akadu with Jill Barrio, Sand Lake Hanover, Steve Mahar. Nail is Bobby with Jim Smith. Exeter Romar, John Davidson, Touch of Blue, and Charlie Ross. West Pointer, Roy Dickinson, L. F. Dorothy, Brian Moore. Here they come. There, off an exit of Romar. Wings four has the top, and Neil is Bobby racing on the inside. Is racing a second. They're neck and neck, though. Now Neil is Bobby. Exit of Romar outside a second. Akadu has a third. Dutch of Blue racing on fourth. Sand Lake out of her West Pointer. L. F. Dorothy is the trailer, and they're racing up the back stretch, driving to the quarter pole. Neil is Bobby cuts it out. Exit of Romar has uh, found the rail is racing second. Akadu has third, Sand Lake Hanover up moving fourth by the opening quarter, 30 into fifth. Sand Lake Hanover on the outside, drives on to third, but up front it is nailed as Bobby. Exit of Romar, Sand Lake Hanover, Akadu. They're tipping off the top turn, driving through the stretch, and here they come, racing to the half. It's nailed as Bobby showing the way. Exit of Romar with second, Sand Lake Hanover. Up strong on the outside, not a second, goes winging for when he has the lead. Sand Lake Hanover, the leader, by the half in 102. Head of the turn they go, racing to the 5 8 Sand Lake Hanover, rough. Nail is Bobby racing a second. There goes L.F. Darby, winging on to second, rushing forward, and she takes the lead. They're up the back stretch to the three quarters. L.F. Darby, Sand Lake Hanover, coming back on again. 
L.F. Dorothy, Sand Lake, Hanover, the nose to nose. And now again, it is Sand Lake, Hanover. He's the leader by the three-quarter pull, 132. Head of the top turn, Sand Lake, Hanover. L.F. Dorothy. She is racing a second. Exeter Omar outside third. Akadu right there fourth. Neil is Bobby now fifth. At the head of the lane, it is Sand Lake, Hanover. L.F. Dorothy, Exeter Romar, Akadu. Sand Lake Hanover is going to hold to win this, and he does. It is Sand Lake Hanover, Akadude, L.F. Dorothy, Exeter Romar, Nailis Bobby, West Pointer, Touch of Blue, Time for the Mile, 2.03. And now the starters for our seventh race. They're at the gate. Gate is moving and approaching the top of the stretch. We have a field of eight. Beauty Control and Brian Moore keyed up with Sam Hodgen. Strike column now with Rick Armstrong. Dusty Davy and Steve Mahar. Blue-Eyed Blonde with Sean Shannon. Bar Harbor, Tim Mercetti. Stunning Scooter, Lonnie Stokes. Savvy's Advantage, Jill Berrio. Here they come. Clear off Beauty Control, pacing uh, with the lead. Dusty Davy wings up on the outside to second. Bar Harbor three wide third. Strike column now, now third at the rail. Bar Harbor is a fourth. Keat up racing a fifth, stunning a scooter, blue eyed blonde. Savvy's advantage up the back stretch. Bar Harbor's on the move from fourth. Bar Harbor now third and he's going on. Bar Harbor gets to second. He's winging for the lead. And it is Bar Harbor, the leader, by the opening quarter in 29 and 4. Top turn, Bar Harbor. A length and a quarter, Beauty Control is second. And she's out to challenge again for the top. It is Bar Harbor. Beauty Control up for the lead as they come on by the 3 eighths. Tipping off the turn through the stretch, they come to the half, and it's Beauty Control now. Bar Harbor is second. Dusty Davy has a third. Stunning Scooter works up fourth on the outside. Strike column now is fifth. Then it is keyed up. Blue-eyed blonde, sad bees advantage. And they were by the half, 101. Around the turn they go, racing to the five-eighths. And it's beauty control, but two. Bar Harbor racing a second, Dusty Davy third. They're by the five-eighths, and it's on to the three-quarters. It is beauty control. Bar Harbor, Dusty Davy, strike column now. And the three wide, that is keyed up, rushing on to fifth. They go on by the three quarter pull. Beauty Control, the leader there, 131 and four. Top turn, Beauty Control. Bar Harbor, racing second, Dusty Davy third. Blue eyed blonde is strong on the outside, now fourth. Then strike column now is fifth. At the head of the lane, they're making the turn for home. It's Beauty Control and Bar Harbor coming to it. Yeah, Beauty Control inside. Bar Harbor on the outside. Beauty Control is holding, and she wins this. Beauty Control and then Dusty Davy Bar Harbor. Then Strike Colonel now, Savage Advantage, Blue-Eyed Blonde. Then Stunning Scooter and Keyed Up. Time for the mile, 2 oh, 3 and 1. <laughs> 